Hello everyone, my name is Chalak Mishra and once again I welcome all of you on my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss something about Peter Barry's Breaking Theory. Peter Barry's Breaking Theory has been one of my most favorite books of all time and not only because I have taken a lot of help from this book in studying literary theories and criticism but also because I have been promoting this book free of cost for many years now otherwise my company Bookwise PR charges well enough from authors whenever we have to promote some of their books but this is the book that I have liked a lot and I have always been recommending this one to anyone who wants to study literary theory and criticism why I'll be telling you in this short video so let's get it started although there are many things about this book that I can discuss and go on and on and on but the most important thing about this book is that it is absolutely beginner friendly. Anyone who has just started studying literary theory can take this book, start reading the chapters and I bet he or she will understand a lot of things just after the first reading. After second reading and third reading, I am sure that anyone can master the basics of literary theories in no time. And so this is the quality of this book that compels me to promote it compels me to recommend this book to anyone who wants to study literary theories. And the second thing is that the style of discourse, many books that I have been through are difficult for beginners as well as for moderate level students because the writing is clumsy. The writers are not very clear, the writers are not very lucid about the ideas that they are trying to convey to the students and I think they don't keep it in their mind that they are writing for students. Somehow they tend to write for scholars or their peers, professors or experts in literary theory and that doesn't help beginners or that doesn't help moderate level students at all. So this is the one that challenges every other book in the market that will claim to make you understand literary theories and I bet, I challenge anyone that this one will always have the upper hand. For example, suppose you want to study something about structuralism. Now this is the chapter on structuralism and Peter Barry has tried to make it the convenient, the most convenient, as convenient as you could do. He started with something about structuralism and in the very first line he defines it as an intellectual movement. So you also get the roots of structuralism. If you have been thinking that a structuralism just uh, born out of nowhere and became a part of literary movement or literary theoretical movement. No, it was not the fact. And Peter Perry clears it in the very first line and then he goes on describing the basics of a structuralism movement and then he goes on to discuss the important figures. For example, Ferdinand de Sosso. And then he writes something about the scope of a structuralism, if you can see it here, the scope of a structuralism. And then he goes on to describe many other critical figures, literary theorists who contributed to this movement. And then this is the meat of chapter, if you can see it here. It tells you exactly what a structuralist critics do and Peter Perry has defined the actions or the activities of a structuralist theorists in a very friendly manner that will make you understand what exactly do these guys do. And then there are also examples that most of the books completely miss. So by reading, by going through these examples, you can easily understand what exactly a structuralist criticism is about, how to attempt a structuralist criticism on any text. And then there are also certain things like uh, stop and think sections that will make you understand, make you question, question you as well and also do a lot of other things and then it just goes on with examples and in the end of every chapter you will find selected reading which most of other authors do in their books but this one gives you the names of the textbooks as well as other books that you can 
go through if you want to deepen if you want to further your studies in any of the literary theories so these are two things so these are the two most important things one is chapterization and the way the author has discussed the theories and the second is the examples the exercises and then the stop and think sections that make you question your understanding until now like until now uh, it means if you are starting reading this book then how much you have understood how much you have read you stop and you question yourselves by using the questions that the author has helpfully inserted in the chapters so if you want to study the basics of literary theories and literary theories are covered to the most recent times uh, i will just read the chapters so that you can understand one is theory before theory liberal humanism the second is post the second is structuralism the third is post structuralism and deconstruction the fourth is post modernism the fifth is psychoanalytic criticism the sixth is feminist criticism the seventh is lesbian and gay criticism eight is marxist criticism ninth is new historicism and cultural materialism the tenth is post colonial criticism the eleventh is stylistics twelfth is narratology thirteenth eco criticism fourteenth literary theory a history in ten events fifteenth theory after theory and then there is a very uh, there is a very interesting chapter that tells you where do we go from here for the reading so this book in overall is the best companion for anyone who wants to study the basics as well as the most fundamental things of literary theories and i bet like this book will help you in ways that no other books can ever do so if you want to study literary theories if you want to sharpen your understanding of theories then you must have this one i have written a lot about this book then you can go on the website englishliterature.education and you can read more about this book and you can also buy the books from there if you want to have this one after reading all those reviews and details about this book so this was it for today i hope you like it i'll be doing more with more books like this one that i have done like i'll be discussing about books and how this these books can help you in understanding different aspects of literature different aspects of your studies so till then thank you all the best and do good have a good time